Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Northern Desert, just west of the Southern Aqueduct, building a Yamatai Fort. The last time I built a Yamatai Fort was well over a year ago now, and it was quite straightforward, square, Matsumoto style design, the sort of typical fort I would build. So this time I'll be going for something a bit unique and quite different. Before we get started though, we do of course have to thank the sponsors NordVPN. If somehow you haven't heard of them before, NordVPN offers one of the best rated VPN services available, featuring super fast servers in 60 countries, no data logging, 24-7 customer support, double data encryption, the ability to unlock region lock content including Netflix, ITV, BBC iPlayer and such, and more to ensure you always stay safe on the internet. With unlimited bandwidth, a lightweight Chrome browser extension, and the ability to use Nord on up to six devices simultaneously, including mobile devices, NordVPN is the best way to protect yourself on the internet. It's simple to use one click and you are both connected and protected. NordVPN is great and it's one of the best ways to support me. Each video I make takes roughly between 8 and 12 hours to make, so when you purchase NordVPN through my link you really do help me out a ton. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout, which comes out to $3.49 a month, or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a great price for the service. As always, a massive thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. So, seeing as this is indeed a speed build, let's get right into it. Coming into this build, it was quite a spur of the moment decision. I looked at my suggestions list about three or four times and had no real burst of inspiration, though I did have an idea in my head that wouldn't fit any other suggestion on the list, which was the design for this fort. My usual process of deciding upon builds is to look at my list and pick whichever design pops into my head first for any given build, however for some reason today I was just stuck on this design. This specific design was a centralised hub as the heart of the base, with six towers connected to the hub around the build at regular intervals, sort of designed like a simple star. Though not terribly practical for PvP, and maybe not even for some PvE needs, I could see this build being a nice group base for a roleplay clan, or even the home of a lord if expanded to turn the main dining room at the heart of the build into a throne room and dining room combo. Construction wise, I decided to opt to use Yamatai as the main building material. I've been using a lot of Argosian recently, and whilst I do like that DLC a lot, I don't want to overdo it and burn myself out on it like I did with Arena, and I don't want to deplete interest in the DLC pack on this channel. Argosian is a great DLC, and the pieces can be used to create some truly elegant builds, so I want to reserve the use of those pieces to where it's appropriate and fitting. Whilst building the fort, I initially wanted to connect all towers together with an outer ring of corridors. I think this is definitely still possible if you wanted to do that, however I don't think it's terribly practical for myself, as it would cut down the already sparse room at the bottom of each tower. You could always make the towers slightly bigger, I only did them as two tier circular foundations, and create those walkways, but I think having the dining room as the main hub of the build with everything else connected through there helps to keep the flow of the build consistent. I mean, sure, having everything interconnected is nice and it's practical, but it can compromise the flow of the build significantly and make the hub design feel somewhat unnecessary. Lore-wise, I didn't really write any for this build, as I couldn't really think of anything that truly fit this build. The fort is quite a practical design, so it could really work for any sort of specific brief you need. I think this design could work well as maybe a wizard's tower or an alchemist guild, as I think the starlight design would suit something more mystical. With a taller main tower, I think the wizard's tower concept could suit this build quite nicely, especially if you were to make it with something like arena or frontier, especially if you use the dyed radium torches for light. Anyway, I think that's about it for the background and design of this build. As usual, I'll be coming back in for the furnishing phase, but until then I'll leave you with the rest of the construction phase. Don't forget of course you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use the affiliate link in the description, along with my affiliate link for Host Havoc to get the best servers for Conan Exiles and a huge variety of other games. The links to my Discord, Twitch and Patreon are also down there in the description too. So with that, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you in the furnishing phase.
finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the fort, I've lined the staircase with Aquilonian spear statues, off which I've hung some hanging braziers to provide convenient lighting, and also give the fort more of a grand entrance. Inside the build, I've lit the fort with Aquilonian wall torches, along with hanging braziers. Entering the build we reach the heart of the fort, which is the dining room. This is where all the people within the fort, regardless of what they do, can come together to eat, drink and socialise, so having this at the heart of the build really does make sense. Next we reach the front and the smallest towers. These towers contain workshops, one being a metalwork workshop that focuses on smelting and blacksmithing, and the other working with wood and hides, focusing on tanning, woodwork and assembly. Next for the middle towers, which are storage towers. These are designed to store resources, items and precious or rare materials. Both towers are pretty much identical, so I'll save the time and only show you the one. Finally, the tallest towers at the rear. These are bedrooms for the residents of the build, along with a master bedroom for each commander at the top of each tower.
And there we have it, a Yamatai fort in the northern desert, west of the southern aqueduct. Thanks for watching, I quite enjoyed this build and I think the design came out quite well, even though I was having something of a small creative block. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Also of course don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code IRADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link either in the description or the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is always in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel no matter how much you want to pledge, do feel free to consider becoming a patron. During the lockdown, the video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier are now available to the $10 tier and above, so that anyone that chooses to become a patron at $10 or above just has that little bit more content to watch. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Motuls, and Dumpfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Code Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.